what's it like to watch somebody go 99 yards, Taylor? Oh, man, I, I woke up this morning and I was still just scrolling through the old Twitter looking at it, and it's, it, it's unbelievable. I, I think I said last night that around the 45-yard line I started to run down there, but then I went and found Marcus, and we were both just in awe. Like, that is – it's truly the, the best – it's easily the best play I've ever been a part of, but it may be the best play I've ever seen of all time. I think it – it definitely rivals that that beast mode run, and uh, that guy, I mean, he works so hard every single day. It's amazing to see, like you know, all that success he had last night. I was just happy to be a part of it. You know, and just watching it, it it the number of times he shoved people off of him. But w- normally, when people get sh- you know, when running backs shove people off of them, they kind of stop running. And he kind of kept gaining <laughs> ten yards every time he kept stepping. It was, <laughs> yeah. and then suddenly, oh my God, that's the end zone that he's in front of. I ca- I couldn't believe that. I, it was it was unreal. I, I think at one point he literally stopped, started running back towards the, where we started the play, just to step arm a couple more guys just to get into the end zone. I know, just to I, get a couple more. And then he kept. So what what was it like on the sideline after that? I mean, what you what you say when you? Because again, this has only happened once before a run that long, Taylor. I, I actually had no idea. Like, I mean, I knew ninety nine. I knew there's literally no there's no further of a distance you can go, but. um I, I honestly, I was on field goal the next that next play, and so we came off, and I mean, everyone was everyone was electrostatic. We were having a good time. We were actually talking about it before that play. We were like, we need we need to just go 99. Honestly, I brought up the team. I was like, we need to do what Houston did to us two weeks ago, and and take this thing one play and go house. Damn. And uh, quarterback came in, and he called a, a he called a quarterback sneak to a check of the play we actually run. And I, I thought to myself, well, a quarterback sneak's definitely not going to get us 99. <laughs> and he checked it, and, and the rest is history, man. He killed it. So, no kidding. The call was for Mariota just to get some breathing room and said he call, he checked to the play that 99 yards later, it's it's a touchdown. Oh, I, I mean, I think when you get into those type of situations, strategically, you just want to get enough room for that punter to, to get so he's not totally backed up to make it an easy block. I know we had one the week before, and that's kind of the mindset. When you get at the one, you need to stay, get yourself some breathing room, and if you can keep it going, keep it going. But, I mean, I'll take that 99 touchdown run any day of the week. That Taylor, was unbelievable. Taylor Lewan here on the Rich Eisen Show. Later on, I'm, I'm going to play the the uh, the Monday night football call way before you were born in 1983 uh, of the Dorsett call. <laughs> and, and if Dandy Don Meredith joked – as folks will hear that uh, Dorsett, because it was, I think it was one of his first runs of the night. He's like, he could go for 100 yards tonight, is what Dandy Don said. And interestingly enough, I mean, he, he kept running. You guys kept pounding it with Derrick Henry, 238 yards when it is all said and done. Is this something we should expect from your team over the next three weeks as you try and make the playoffs in uh, the chilling months of December, Taylor? I think, I think it'd be unhealthy. To um, to raise the expectations to franchise setting records every single game, <laughs> but I I do believe that this is that Marcus pulled us over about halfway through the game and said, "Fellas, this is the standard. This is what it needs to be about." And every single week, we need to act like we've been there. And um, I think this offensive line's caught a lot of flag this year. Some of those guys have caught a lot, a lot of heat. And for them to come out and to do what they did, and it, I'm, I mean, I'm I'm just happy and proud to be a part of it. And I think we got three more games, and we know if we win those three games, there's a big chance we can make the playoffs. So I think everyone sides are set on this next game against New York and moving forward and hoping for the best, man. But I think that should definitely be running the football effectively will win you games. That It opens up the pass. They start stacking the box more. I mean, the safety start biting a little bit more on those play actions. We got the burners outside with Taewon, Corey, and Tajay that can just get going and it's it's a uh, it's impressive, man. I'm I'm just really happy to be a part of this team. Interesting what you just said there, Taylor Lewan, because you know Mariota's uh, rep is as a man of few words. Does he say stuff like that to you guys often? Just like pulling you guys aside and say, "Hey, not, boys, this is the standard." Uh, not often. I think what's the old term? Uh, speak softly, but carry a big stick. That's definitely that's definitely his mo. And you know, I just uh, I got so much respect for that guy. He just regardless of what any outside outside out side noises he uh he just keeps pressing forward and, and keeps going man i just i never played with a quarterback but quite like him he's a he's an unbelievable guy the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience